Okay, for this next set, I'm going to break down analytically coordination set one. Now, this set is generally required for promotion to purple belt. I would argue it's one of the key sets of American Kempo. It's going to involve blocking, punching, kicking, good balance, of course, that's the coordination aspect, and how to cross shoot. That means how to punch with the left hand while I'm simultaneously kicking with the right, or punching with the right hand while I'm simultaneously kicking with the left. And I'm going to show a couple things, uh, everybody that's watching, to improve the set that you might not be uh, picking up on um, when you practice it on your own. Okay, so if I'm at attention and I step to my left to the meditating horse stance, okay, I'm going to step back with the right foot to six o'clock and I'm going to do a right inward block with the left vertical outward block. That's the double factor, the minor and the major. I'm not going to punch the face. I'm going to go to a soft target, even more specific, right to the nose, not just anywhere in the head. I pivot to the forward bow as I punch to the solar plexus. Now I'm going to go after soft targets again. Nose with the left and the groin with the right as I do a front snap kick and a left punch. And I drop back and I do my right punch as I hit the left forward bow to the solar plexus. Now moves two, four, six, eight, and 10 are where the most mistakes come in. So I don't want you to watch the weak double factor do this. I should have just put my hand behind my head. It wouldn't have done anything. When I move, I don't want to get hit in transition. So my left goes past my head as I do the right vertical outward, punch the nose, punch the solar plexus. Here's that cross shoot and I punch. I look to my left, which would be nine o'clock. My right foot steps back. I do my same double factor. I punch to the nose and the solar plexus. Here's that kick punch. And notice I don't raise up. I stay nice and low. Now we're on an even number where more mistakes occur. Make sure the left arm goes past the head. Nose, solar plexus, kick, punch, punch. Now I'm going to go to six o'clock. Whenever I do a direction change, I look. So I look, step back, I'll do the whole move, punch, punch, kick, punch, punch, and forward. Now I'm gonna head towards nine. So again, I look to my left, my right foot steps back, and there's that double factor again. Jab, punch the solar plexus, kick, punch, punch, solid stance, don't do this and go forward. Make sure that's a solid punch. We're on an even number. Make sure this goes past your head again. Jab, punch, kick, punch, punch. And now I'm going to finish the way I started back to 12 o'clock. So I look, step back with the right foot, double factor, punch, punch, kick, punch, punch. Very last one. This is move 10. Left goes past the head, it's even number. All throughout, make sure the double factor is a good one. Punch, punch, kick, punch, punch. I take my right foot and simply step back. And there's the end of the set. One thing really fast before I close. My left foot is my pivot foot throughout the set. And my right foot is simply doing the steps. So if I just did this, back with the right, forward with the right, look to nine, back with the right, forward with the right, look to six, back with the right, forward with the right, look to three, back with the right, forward with the right, look to 12, back with the right, forward to the right, and then I would step back. There is all it is for the footwork, everybody. And that's coordination set one. Try to make sure you improve your double factors and don't just punch anywhere. Nose, solar plexus, nose and groin on the kick, solar plexus again, go to it.